Hello everyone, here we have finally a repair that is linked to an older video on my YouTube channel, which is li lines on the screen or as you can see weird image on the screen. As I open and close the lid, the image comes and goes and lines appear on the screen. As I said before, this became a factory issue after Apple fixed the backlight problem in the previous models. But weirdly there were a couple of the older models, the A1706, A1708 and so on that came in for repair with the same problem. So I won't say that this issue is for the newer models only, it's an issue with the models after 2016. We'll leave a link to the video in the description, where I explain why this is happening. But now, finally, I have the time to show you how to fix this issue. You only need, and that's the only thing you need to do, is to disassemble the screen. Oh, uh, I forgot to tell you, and you also need to remove the logo panel to get to the screen flex cable. Oh, and big news, the panel cracked during the assembling. As you can see here is our problem, a piece of dirt that was under the flex, and because of opening and closing the lid, it bent the flex, creating a hole, which damaged the screen rails in the flex cable. We'll leave the full repair process just so you can see how hard and long it takes to repair. As I get asked very frequently in the backlight repair video, why don't I just replace the full flex cable? Well, I enjoy the pain, why else would I do this job? So the basic thing here you need to do is to scrub off the protecting mask until you get to the flex rails. Then clean the second protecting layer very carefully, because then comes the rails themselves.
add flex and solder to all the rails, as demonstrated in the video. This way you renew the rails with the solder and makes them stronger, and leave the solder on them. Here I have 4 rails that needs a jumper wire to renew them. Don't add a UV mask, as it will not protect the jumpers, but rather it will add thickness to the flex creating a sound and difficulty when opening and closing the lid. Just add normal thermal tape and that should do the trick. And there you have it, it's working now. And fortunately, this is not a permanent repair. As I explained in the previous video, this issue appears because of the dirt and the dust that goes into the MacBook. And it can repeat itself on the second flex cable or even on the same one. But we do our best to prevent that from happening by cleaning our MacBooks. Right? So that will be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more interesting repair videos. And if you have any other questions, just leave them in the comment section down below and I will try to answer them. Thanks for watching, see you next time.